What's up guys? I just built a huge driftwood hide out of the excess driftwood in my tank. This thing is huge and it is beautiful. Stay tuned. You're watching The Glass Box. I'm Mike. Let's go. Here are my supplies. I have a slate piece from Home Depot. Cost me about uh, maybe seven or eight bucks. Uh, drill, masonry bit, uh, about three or four different screw sizes, stainless steel screws, a Phillips head uh, for the uh, drill. Here's all my driftwood. I pulled all that driftwood out of the, out of the tank. Um, didn't want to do it, but we gotta, we gotta make some adjustments here. If it doesn't work, I'll just go back to the way it was, okay? So we're gonna attempt to make a little box. First thing I'm gonna do is pre-drill my holes on this slate piece. So let me drill those holes and I'll get back to you. That took forever. All four holes are drilled. Let's do a quick mock-up to see what this hide's gonna look like. Well, starting my mock-up, I want the walls or the sides to be at least five to six inches, you know, high so she can get in with ease but still feel secure um, from top to bottom. So here's my mock up. Got the same walls, about, you know, six inches, seven inches high at the most. Just do some driftwood over top for a roof. I've everything clamped down here. Just, just to do the mock-up, I'm gonna use these screws. I got some three inch, some two inch, some uh, half inch. So we're gonna make it work. Let me give you an idea what I'm doing here. I'm just screwing these right up and through here to support these walls. I'm gonna anchor them down to the slate and also screw some uh, screws uh, from the top down. See how that works. Got a few more screws, just tying everything together. All finished, all tied in. This is a very expensive hide. Probably about $300 worth of driftwood. I guess, I don't know if you can call it wasted or not, but it's not decorative. But, uh. Looks, looks okay. We see how it looks in the tank, and then we'll just go from there, see if she uses it or not. Uh, hopefully she'll stop pinning herself and scratching her shell up. So, I took uh, the real sharp piece of driftwood out of there. So this should help. This is a peninsula style tank. It's not as secure as a tub or a pond or something like that. Um, she can see um, all around, so she needs a spot that she feels a little bit more secure. Um, she's not stressing out at all, but I think she needs a spot just to call home and this should help. Hope you guys like it. The water hasn't cleared up, but she's on it already. She's already checking it out. Let's see if she's gonna, hopefully she's not too big for it. If I measured her, hopefully we're right. We'll see here shortly. It looks about right. I don't think it's, it's just right. Not too snug, but enough for her to be secure.
So what do you guys think of my Driftwood Hive? I love it, but if you guys have any comments, any constructive criticism, please place your comments below. And that's it for today. You've been watching The Glass Box.